with the face app challenge going viral. Some of us are really getting a visual lesson that we need to do maintenance to maintain that useful glow. Certified fitness trainer, health coach, and Miss Palm Beach USA, Janelle Rafa, is here to share some strategies to slow down the body's natural clock. Nice to see you. It's been a while, so we're so glad to get you back in. Let's start first with, I think, the go-to, and a lot of people hate it, but it's true. You've got to do the exercise. Yes, exercise truly serves as the fountain of youth. We know that exercise promotes cardiovascular health. It yeah. helps balance our hormones, our blood sugar, and insulin. We know that it releases endorphins and boosts the mood, but exercise also lengthens the chromosomal telomeres in our DNA to help really release the fountain of youth and help slow the aging process. So exercise from head to toe, it can be cardio, it can be weightlifting, just everything? Absolutely. Studies do reveal that high intensity interval training as well as weight training are key in anti-aging okay. and practices such as yoga and Pilates help reduce stress and promote graceful longevity. You're a big uh, proponent of nutrition, specifically yes. antioxidants. Yes, antioxidants, food, rich foods are key because they help fight free radical damage in the body. So we want to get loads of berries in our diet, lots of color. We want to eat the rainbow. Got but it. Berries are a great source of antioxidants. Dark leafy greens. Yes, dark leafy greens. I love that you put the chocolate in there. As long as it's unsweetened. Sugar will promote, cause inflammation okay. and promote aging. But if it's sugar free, you're great. We do want to incorporate healthy omega-3 fats. Yeah. So our flax seeds, our walnuts, our, uh, those are omega-3 fats. Yep. Avocados, olive oil are our monounsaturated. And then coconut oil is our medium chain triglycerides. That's going to promote health, brain health, skin skin health and healthy vibrant Tell me cells. about the lemon, does it cut fat? Yeah, okay, so lemon is actually a rich source of vitamin C. Now vitamin C pr promotes the synthesis of collagen in our body and collagen is the primary protein in connective tissue ah. for joint health and to maintain that beautiful elasticity in the skin. So collagen, vitamin C and collagen rich foods are important. What we put in our body is really just important as what we put on our body as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. That brings us to the next point. Yes, skin care is so important. Um, as you said, our skin is the largest organ. Whatever we put on our skin is directly absorbed into our bloodstream. So this is my personal favorite skincare line. I'm a big proponent of organic, natural, toxin-free skincare that is aloe-based. It's going to be so nourishing for the skin and that'll be absorbed into our bloodstream. Real quickly, I don't want to skip over. You also have some other products here. Yes. Uh, collagen, some green tea products here. Go and talk about stress. Uh, you know, no matter how hard you try, it's inevitable. You're going to get stressed in life. Yeah, in our day and age, chronic stress is inevitable, as you mentioned, but it's very important that we're proactive about managing the stress. So a couple of strategies that I put in here, I love to incorporate essential oils such as lavender, chamomile, and frankincense. Very nice. yeah. Yes, a warm, soothing cup of chamomile tea with rooibos is great before bedtime, as well as Epsom salts, which are a rich source of magnesium to help promote relaxation in the body. Chanel, you can never go wrong with a bubble bath. We yeah. love it. Thank you for being here for Thank sharing you so these much. tips. All right, get started in incorporating all of this into your routine.